This is the seventh in our series of eight very short videos about uh, Bible stories involving water, which could point forward to Christ and the work of the Holy Spirit. Today's quick story is from 2 Kings chapter 5 and concerns the baptism of Naaman, the Syrian general, uh, in the river Jordan. Uh, in the first verse of chapter 5 of 2 Kings, it says, Now Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great and honourable man in the eyes of his master, because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was also a mighty man of valour, but he was a leper. Uh, an important, powerful man, a general. Um, he was brave, perhaps like David uh, or Gideon although he was a Gentile, um, but he had the secret beginnings of this disease called leprosy. It must have been a terrible thing because it would have progressed and led to him being isolated and cut off from friend and family alike. And uh, if he had been a Jew, he would not have been allowed anywhere near God's temple or tabernacle because it's alienating uh, from the presence of God. In Jewish uh, religion. The leprosy described uh, in the Bible was contagious and debilitating and it often began with the loss of sensation in some part of the body because of nerve damage, muscles could waste away, the hands and feet became disfigured and fingers and toes were often eventually lost. Over the span of 20 or 30 years a leper might even lose a hand or a foot and it was as William Barclay once said a kind of terrible progressive death in which a man dies by inches. It made a person essentially dead whilst yet still being alive. Most people thought that lepers were under a special judgment of God, deserving no pity or mercy. For all these reasons, the condition of leprosy is a picture of sin and its effects. Notice the words, he but a leper at the end of verse 1. These words speak to us today. The effects of leprosy run deep. Although by appearance the leper is only skin sick, actually deep down all humanity is sin sick. Spiritually speaking, we are all lepers until Jesus heals us. No matter what we accomplish in life, no matter how great we become, even like Naaman, we still have the problem of sin. Sin sickness makes us dead whilst yet being alive. We cannot heal our own sin sickness and it will follow a slow progression growing worse and worse and leading to death. However, the story of General Naaman has a happy ending. In Naaman's household is an Israelite servant girl who was captured on one of Naaman's military campaigns against Israel. This girl is not bitter or afraid, but boldly witnesses to the power of the living God who can deliver Naaman from this disease. Naaman sadly does not go first to the prophet Elisha, but to the king of Israel. The king has the outward symbols of power, but has no spiritual power. The prophet, however, has no outward symbols of power, but is close to God. The same can be true today. We do not always find that the churches have the answers we are seeking. Sometimes bishops with their robes and crowns can actually be devoid of all spiritual reality. Although, of course, many bishops are very godly and spiritual men. Naaman goes to Elisha and at last is instructed to baptise himself seven times in the Jordan. This involves humbling himself to go down into that river. The going down into the water and coming up again reminds us of a baptism into death and resurrection. And when we receive the Spirit of Christ and believe upon the Lord Jesus and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit or the infilling of the Holy Spirit, we are united with the death and resurrection of Christ. And he was told to do it seven times. This could remind us of the seven sayings of Christ upon the cross. And again, reinforces the sense of baptism into death and resurrection. 
Naaman is at first angry at such a simple, humbling solution, but he at last obeys and is persuaded. At the end, the result is that his skin is restored like that of a newborn child. This is the wonder of the receiving of the Holy Spirit, that it refreshes and cleanses our inner life and makes us new again. The baptism of Naaman in the River Jordan represents the washing of the Holy Spirit to deliver us from the dominating grip and the overpowering nature of our sin, symbolised here by leprosy.